I was lucky enough to be bought this torch over Christmas and uh, it's a Cree based torch it seems very bright uh, made by seven day shop it's uh, I think they call it a T6 um, anyway it's great um, and it came with this adapter to put three AAA batteries in it um, which works fairly well but it's also got the option to use uh, 18650s now it's worth noting that these batteries have got a bit of a bad reputation and there have been some incidents um, now I bought these off a British seller they did come with a British postmark um, so at least I know that when I bought them I didn't send them on a plane and cause any potential issues but I am quite nervous about using them I've seen the same YouTube videos you've probably seen as well and they do have a tendency to explode if not treated correctly but then of course I realized that I bought these 18650s and I was draining them in my torch and I didn't have anything to charge them with so I scratched my head and had a little think about it I realized that my Minghe DC to DC converter could possibly fit the bill so I've set my Minghe DC to DC converter to 4.2 volts and 100 milliamps and with an 18650 in this 18650 holder which is barely big enough for this unprotected button top cell I can turn on the output and you can see it's going to constant current mode I'm delivering 110 milliamps into this battery and the battery voltage is rising and it's now at 3.92 volts and that's a reasonable way to charge this battery and I'm not charging this battery too aggressively either but this is 12 or 13 pounds I think it was the battery holder was only about 20p I think I got five for a pound so that's nothing to worry about although there's no intelligence here apart from the limits of 4.2 volts and 100 milliamps it's going to continue to try and push that into the battery forever and ever until I turn it off so it soon became apparent that using my Minghe DC to DC converter wasn't going to be a sustainable uh, way of charging 18650 batteries so I bought a couple of these little boards it's the TP5046 I'm going to have to check that so it's the TP4056 uh, 8-pin IC and this is a chip that's been designed from the ground up um, to charge lithium-ion batteries and I think there's a MOSFET in there to turn off the charging and you can change one of the resistors um, on one of the pins to change the charging current but I thought there must be an easier way to charge these 18650s and protect the cells from over voltage and under voltage if required and of course there is and it's still pretty cheap and this is a 18650 single cell mobile USB power bank the sort of thing that you use to charge your mobile phone and this has a similar looking 8 pin chip it also has some other circuitry on here this little inductor for example to take the 3.7 volts from the lithium ion cell up to 5 volts for your USB but I've tested this and it charges the cells up to 4.2 volts which generally is seen as a good voltage but this is where we go back to the issue about the button cell and when I put this in here it won't fit properly with that button on it 
I can put that under there and I just end up with a a bend and it certainly won't go in its case and of course you can get these in different sizes so here's a two cell version three cell versions and four cell versions and these are just the same these eight pin ICs there is a model number on there I'll get it for you shortly on the three bank there's another one and on the four bank I'd have to pull that out so on the four bank it's actually got this larger IC here uh, which has no model number on it whatsoever sadly so there's two of my batteries happily charging in this USB power bank I'm really pleased with this solution it's certainly cheap but the batteries also remain protected I'm also quite impressed with these batteries so far however I have noticed and when I bought them it was claimed that they have 5000 milliamp hours within now I went into this with my eyes wide open and I suspect that's rather optimistic but in part two of this little experiment with lithium iron and 18650s I'm going to see if I can put that number to the test so hopefully you'll join me then.